Hello everybody, welcome back to Seanicles. I'm Sean, this is Nichols. Today I'm going to be playing Kerbal Space Program, one of my favorite games of all time. Now, I'm going in in sandbox mode. This is a new game. Now, this is the twist. I'm going to be doing a permadeath. This is a permadeath challenge of the, uh, the game. That means that if I die, that's the end of it. It's done. Now, my challenge for today is to go to the moon and bring back some moon rocks. So I gotta land on the moon and take off of it and land back at, at Kerbal. So this is my challenge that I've set for myself. So let's see if, if I could find uh, what we need here. So I'm gonna start with a command pod, of course. Just a single command pod. Not doing anything fancy here. I just wanna get the mission done um, without death. <laughs> so, uh, this is, if anyone, if anyone's ever seen this game, this is a game that is very prone to random mishaps. Um, uh, and that's like, you know, just the way that Kerbal is. So the fact that I'm doing a permadeath challenge of this is a little scary to me, but I think I can do it. I've, I've put a lot of hours into this, and it's something that I feel I can do. So we're gonna need a battery, we're gonna need the, uh, deployment stuff. Uh, let's see... One thing is, um, I think that's all we need for that. Um, we can just start putting the, um, uh, the shit into place, can't we? Uh, so I'm gonna start off with that. This is gonna be the thing that gets us off of the planet and hopefully land it on the planet as well. So for this, I'm gonna use a small thing. Here. Okay, so for the rest of this, I'm gonna actually fast forward through the building process of this So you can just see what goes into it with that. So I will be back in a little bit Okay, so, um, this is my spacecraft. Now, I know you're thinking, is that really the most practical design? Is that really very fuel efficient? No, it's not. This is very, very inefficient. Um, if Scott Manley saw this, he would be very upset with me. But, uh, the reason why I designed it this way is because I only have one shot. I only have one single shot of doing this right, so I need to make sure that I can get there I can't quite tell if I have enough thrust and all that, you know, the Delta V, all that kind of fancy mumbo jumbo science stuff. I can't be sure if I have that, so I just have to give myself way more than I need. So I think this will do it. I'm going to name this the, uh, oh my god, please work. Oh my god, please work. That is the name of this spacecraft. So, let's go ahead and give this a launch. Okay, so here we are back at the launch pad. Um, I noticed when I started it before, uh, there was a lot of wobble in the top, and that makes me nervous. So I added a couple of extra little reinforcements right here to just help guide that, you know, where it needs to go. I also put a couple separatrons because I think this might give me an issue, um when we're going up. The uh, separate challenge are these little guys right here that help push uh, everything away from the spacecraft. So here we are. I'm going to put SAS on, throttle all the way up, and I'm going to do a countdown. Let me, let me see. Okay, this looks perfect. So, five, four, three, two, one, blast off! <laughs> Okay, here we are, blasting off into space. Jebediah, of course, is looking excited as always. He's always excited to do this this thing. Uh, his badass trait is set really high. Um, that's not just me 
saying that it actually is. There's a, a stat on all of the Kerbals, and he has a badass trait that is set to a very high level. And that is why you can see he is a fucking badass over there. So I'm coming up here. I'm going to lower the thrust. Okay, I don't want to be going that fast in this part of the atmosphere. I just want to get out of this part, then start doing all the thrusting. So don't don't take it that way, Internet. Come on. Really? Thrust. It's, it's part of aerodynamics. It's not... Jeez. So... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start the roll a little bit, just a little bit, just a tad, just a little, like, a taste, taste of a roll. Mmm, nom, 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 delicious roll. So, uh, slowing down a little bit more. I want to keep this as about 200 meters per second until I get to that second part of the atmosphere. Uh, here we go. So now we're getting up here. Looking good. I'm just, I'm nervous about letting go of these parts while having it going really fast. I'm nervous about it going fast with that because uh, I feel like the aerodynamics are going to make it all mess up and I'm a little afraid of that. Uh, so let's give it one little push upward. Uh, okay, so please don't fall apart. That's not what the Separatrons were supposed to do, but um, I guess it worked anyway. I don't know what that was. But sure, let's go with that. Hi, Kitty. How you doing? Kitty's enjoying this, of course, as always. She's got a bit of a badass trait to her as well. If if I had the capability of going to space, I bet this Kitty would, would love to join me in space. Actually, she probably won't. She doesn't even like leaving the house. But you know what? I can dream. So I want to get us going in this direction. Oh, there's so much wobble to the spacecraft. Fuck. Uh, let's open up these guys right here. No, not those. Um, just to make sure I don't run out of power. Since I'm out of the atmosphere, I think I can open these without too much of an issue. Uh, where am I? Right there. Okay, I'm gonna stop that. Hey, space music! That means we made it to space. Mm -mm -mm. There we go. Put it right about there. And we're burning, getting ourselves in a nice circularized orbit. Oh, we just ran out of juice. Okay, that's fine. Um, okay, once again, I am hoping that this does not fall apart. Yo! Hello! That was... I probably should have put an extra set on the bottom of them so they didn't spin. That came that close to... Oh, God. That would have been really bad. But luckily, um, we didn't die. And that's always good, isn't that good, Jebediah? Yeah, look at him. He's he's down there. He's having a good time. He almost lost his life, but you know what? Jebediah? Nothing stops him. Nothing stops Jebediah from having a good time. So I'm going to open up the rest of these. And... Now it is time to find our way to the moon. Here we go. So the best place to start would probably be right here. Oh. Uh, right about there. Off in that direction. Oh, no, not that far. Uh, Jebediah, of course, is our most experienced pilot. So I have, I have the utmost confidence that he will be able to get us to where we need to go. Um, this looks a lot like an impact to me. I don't want to do an impact. Okay, that looks good. So I'm going to put it right there. Let's rotate our spacecraft. I'm now realizing that I have a ton of extra fuel. But that's okay, because um, taxes paid for it. Don't worry about it. And here we see the wonderful Kerbin sunrise. And we are ready for... 
burn. Almost. Oh, goodbye, Kerbin. I will see you soon. With many space rocks. Uh, moon rocks, I mean. Okay. This burn should last about 30 seconds. I'm gonna drink an ice-cold Pepsi. Uh, this episode brought to you by Pepsi. Um, it wasn't, but Pepsi, if you want to sponsor my videos, please, I encourage you. Pepsi, for when you can't find Coke. Shit, I just lost my sponsorship with Pepsi, didn't I? Oh, I should be watching this. Hello. Okay, great. Looks like we got to our proper orbit. Um, I actually don't need this guy anymore. Um, I have a ton of extra fuel. He's gonna orbit for a bit. So, bye. <laughs> Let's just get away from him. He's been exiled. Okay, so he's gonna go off in that direction. And I am gonna go off in this direction. So I'm gonna fast forward a bit. To get to where we need to go, uh, I'm just going to put a node here, so I... Ooh, hello. Nope, that's not what I want. Ah, stop it. Fuck, whatever. I'll wing it. Okay, goodbye, guy. Goodbye, Kerbin. It was nice knowing you. Ah. <sighs> At times like these, I like to think back on life and just admire the small things. Like... No. Oh, shit, 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 shit! I should stop myself, shouldn't I? Okay! Let's do a reverse burn. Slow ourselves down. Lovely. I, I missed our, our timing a bit there, but that's okay. So I want to burn for another minute and 40 seconds. I'll fast forward through this part. was dancing I didn't notice that <laughs> I I completely missed the thing uh, back 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 okay uh, this needs to extend outward to there okay great uh, that would have been dangerous but don't worry you are in Jebediah's hands uh, or whatever Kerbals have uh, I assume they have hands. Um, great. Here we are. So I have to decide on a landing spot. I'm going to land right out here. I'm just right in the middle of the moon here. Or middle of the uh, area there. Hey, look at that. We're we're coming in pretty close. So I'm actually going to stop it right there. Uh, in case you were in case you were watching me there, I was I was doing the uh, I'm really excited about space dance. It's a dance that I do a lot when I'm playing this game. So, we're going to use this engine to just kill off all of this speed that we have. We've gained a lot of speed from just, you know, deorbit and all this kind of stuff. So, uh, I'm coming in at 400 meters per second, and that is very quickly coming to a halt. Um, 
The moon is mostly barren wasteland, but don't you worry, it has so much science on it that we're gonna find all kinds of cool, awesome things on this moon. So here we are, we're coming to a halt. It looks like we're coming to a relatively flat area, lots of craters around it, but uh, it looks like we're gonna land right around in here, this kind of area. Uh, coming in at 200 meters per second, 170. We're getting there. Uh, where are we gonna land? Uh, looks like it's gonna be probably around this area here. And that looks good to me. So I'm just trying to kill all of my speed here. I'm coming in at uh, 75, 60, 50. Here we go. Jebediah is flying this in like a goddamn professional. He is the best pilot that I have. And by Jebediah, I mean myself, because of course I am Jebediah right now. <laughs> yeah. So here we are. Uh, coming in for a final landing. Um, I'm going to use this to kill off any additional speed. And then I'm going to jettison this. Actually, I should probably jettison this now. Um, so I'll just kill off all the speed I have here. And... Goodbye. Thank you so much for everything you've done, sir. Let's put our landing gears down. Um, so that's going to go down. It's going to have an impact, and hopefully it's just going to go away. I'm going to divert ourselves a little further away from here. Um, actually, go in this direction. Uh, because sometimes I actually have had things come back and explode on me. Like, come straight up and hit me. So I want to avoid that. So we're just going to change our trajectory just a little bit. Just enough to make it so that he won't have that happen to us. Uh, an interesting fact, um, the, uh, the big rover that they put on Mars recently, uh, that had kind of a crazy jettisoning system where, like, it was this sky crane that would lower down. Bye! <laughs> well, that didn't have any extra parts, so I guess all that was from nothing, but, um, it had this sky crane that came down, and, uh, once it dropped off the rover, it just flung itself in the opposite direction. And I actually took that into account, like I took that design idea into account with a lot of the things that I made in Kerbal, which is kind of cool. So we're coming in really fast. There we go. Oh, <laughs> that was a little close, but I think we're good. Here we go, here we go. Come on, just coming in right for a landing. Right there. Stay up. Stay up. Yes! We have landed on the moon! Of course, this is only uh, the first part of our journey. Uh, part of the uh, the challenge here is we gotta get out. Uh, oh, fucking Jebediah, what the fuck? Can you believe this shit? Jebediah, all you had to do was get out of the spacecraft. You just destroyed one of your solar panels. Well, good thing we have three of them. Jesus. Take surface sample. Thank you very much. EVA report. Sure, why not? And let's plant a flag. Because we are awesome. We are going to name this site. Oh. Actually, I'm going to name this One Small Step for Kerbals. One giant leap for Kerbal Kind. Huzzah! And that will forever keep this in memory of what we have done. Oh, he looks so lonely off on the moon all by himself. Okay, well, well, little Jeb, I think it's time for us to go back. Can we see the Earth from where we are? We can! Look at that, there's home, and there is our sun. So we're gonna be heading back now, Jeb. Let's get in here. We got our fancy moon rocks, so now it's time to take them on back. Uh, let's see, get right, navigate right to the thing. Get inside, perfect. Okay, great, so uh, we are gonna be going to this direction. 
Oh, hello, hello, hello. It's a wily one, folks. It's a wily one. I uh, can put those up, don't need... Oh! <laughs> Didn't have the stabilization on. That would do it. Okay, Jeb. Looks like we gotta get ourselves back home. Uh, I hope I brought enough fuel. I'm now realizing I had a ton of fuel leaving Kerbal, but I may have not brought enough fuel to get me back. Um, I guess we're gonna find out. Okay, so as you can see, I have put ourselves onto a trajectory that will bring us back to Kerbin, or back into Kerbin's orbit. So, that is goodbye to the moon. Goodbye, fair moon. It was great. Thank you for everything. Thank you for those valuable, valuable moon rocks. And I guess we're going home. What do you think, Jeb? He's got a little smile on his face. He knows he's done a good job. It's got to be really lonely in that capsule all by yourself like that. Wish I had taken a friend along with us. Ooh, a little eclipse. Fancy. Okay, so we are now back in Kerbin's orbit. I'm going to go around once. Sorry, sorry, Jeb. I know uh, that took a really long time for you, but it didn't take long for me. Uh, so we're going to kill our speed, get back into Kerbal, or Kerbin, and we're gonna bring some moon rocks. Now, I actually have a lot more fuel than I need, but I'm gonna pretend that I don't because that makes it a lot more dramatic. So we're gonna come straight in and we're gonna do a really, really fast re-entry here. Super fast re-entry. There we go. Oh, look at that. So this is gonna bring us straight into the atmosphere, like straight into it, and we're gonna be going real fast so let's see let's uh fast forward that a bit here we go we're coming straight toward earth uh not sure where the moon went oh it's on the other side of the planet that would explain oh there it is hi hi moon okay so here we go we're coming straight in like a bat out of hell Whoa! Alrighty, so, now that we're here, I'm gonna turn ourselves around, and we are going to have a very, very quick re-entry. So, um, the music stopping means that we are no longer, um, in space. We are now in the Kerbal atmosphere. So I'm gonna actually get us going faster, because, fuck it. Um, no sense in, uh, having all this fuel go to waste. Oh, actually, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I don't want to land in the ocean. I don't want to land in the ocean. Stop it. Stop it. I want to land up. Up. Up, damn you. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, so we're coming straight down in this direction. Um, I'm gonna give us some more speed here. There we go. Okay, I wanna land on the land. We're still in an orbit, but uh, that is going to quickly, quickly change. I don't know why these haven't broken off yet. I'm honestly just letting them break off, but they're just not going. Hello. I, I see land. Are we going to land there? Um, I think we can manage that. Let's just get this up a bit more. I'll just keep this going.
There we go. Now we are out of of energy. Um, I believe I have us on a orbit that will get us back down. Let's fast forward. Yeah, we're totally gonna land on the uh, on the land here. Excellent. That's what I wanted all along. Looks like we're coming down over the desert. Here we go, entering back in. That that got our, our solar panels to break apart. I figured they'd do it eventually. I love the re-entry effects on this. They look very pretty, especially when you have a very large spacecraft coming into the, the planet. Oh, what was that? Something just flew off there. Okay, so I'm gonna activate this parachute. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. I'll just let that go. Goodbye. That's gonna just go off and explode off in the distance. Ooh. That wasn't a very healthy landing. I'm glad I wasn't on that. But Jebediah here, he seems to be doing great. Look at him, he's got the big smile on his face. He's doing great. There we are. Okay, we have made our landing. What do you think, Jeb? I know we, we kind of landed in the middle of this desert here. Um, shit. Well, I'm sure someone's gonna pick you up at some point, Jeb. Don't you worry, you're gonna get back home. So you can go ahead and plant a flag. There we go. Okay, so a uh, permadeath challenge complete. I gotta say, I'm actually really surprised. I was not expecting this to uh, succeed. Uh, Kerbal is like so filled with just random things that you can't really predict. So the fact that I got this in one shot makes me really happy. Uh, not including the part where Kerbal messed up and made my ship explode at the beginning. I think I, I'm gonna cut that out, but um. It just glitched. The The game glitched when I jumped into it. So I didn't count that as part of the permadeath challenge. That was the game messing up. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope to bring you a lot more things like this in the future. This was a ton of fun. If you guys want to see more Kerbal, let me know in the comments. Because personally, I love Kerbal. So if you guys want me to do more Kerbal, I'm going to do so much more Kerbal. It's ridiculous. So thank you very much for watching Seanicles. I'm Sean. This is Nichols. And I will see you in the next video.